Dear Francis, the letters I have written to you over the years surely could be bound into a book. One of our young novices once asked me why I write to you when you are dead. The young can be blunt, but the thing is, I think you are still alive. One day, I hope, I will find you, and then you will read these letters. And when you do, you will know that I was busy writing a book. Because of my book, I may have to talk to Bishop Henry, but that is not the only thing that keeps me awake tonight. Behind a wall in our crypt, Jack discovered a hidden room. We do not know who built it, but it is likely that Prior James hid there, even after he was said to have drowned. That means he was alive when we met in Kingsbridge on New Year's Day, the day of his burial. And Jack told me he saw a man in the church the night it burned down. Was that him? And if so, did he burn in the fire that night? The dust storm and the drought are taking their toll on all of us. Thanks to our town wall, we are safe from the Earl and the outlaws. We've heard of places nearby being raided. We believe the attackers were William Hamley's men. We have enough food to last us another few weeks. But life has come to a halt. Martha believes there will be rain soon. But the storm is only a harbinger of rain. I hope that she is right. Jonathan worries about my book, The Divine Soul. In Winchester, he heard that Bishop Henry was less than pleased by what I had written. I am not naive enough to pretend I do not know why. I wrote that hope is godly, and since God made each of us, hope and salvation are only to be found within ourselves. Henry sells hope, and I am giving it away for free. If the church should ask me to clarify my position, of course I shall do so. But I feel I must give our people what they need in these desperate times. And how could I write anything else if this is what I truly believe? It must be well after midnight. <sighs> With you, I can be honest about what truly troubles me. Jack told me that he was responsible for the fire in Kingsbridge. I know that it was a long time ago. He told me it was an accident. And I don't think Tom knew either. Save yourselves! The saint! But we must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My God! Don't go in there! But, but help us! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! And, as horrible as it may sound, I cannot find it in my heart just now to forgive Jack. Maybe because this confession comes too late, and from a man who I have learned to trust. 
This is the truth. <sighs> I should get some air, Francis. The storm has settled down. I know them by heart, but Jonathan insisted we keep them. Later. I need time to think. I don't like to indulge in my own writings. A magnificent cathedral, but I would have been more than content with the old one, had it not been burned to the ground. If James died in that fire, then what happened to his remains? He was never properly buried, and that is Jack's fault. Jack started the fire. He should have told me. Hello? I thought I saw someone. came from the kitchen. Oh, oh it's you. You startled me. I, I thought I heard something. Was that you? No, but I heard it too. Maybe Aliena came back. No, no she's asleep. She returned a few hours ago. Damn it. Jack. Sorry. There's someone in the kitchen. Yes. I think you're right. Stay behind me. I'll go ahead. mean you harm. Philip, be careful! Damn it! Philip, throw me a stone! No! It's him!
Brother Marcus. Brother Marcus? He took Cuthbert's keys to steal food here from the kitchen. Because of me, Remigius found out. And he left. We never saw him again. Looks like he came back. You didn't mean for this to happen. No, but... What about him? Don't be afraid. Ah! Jack! Why did you do that, you animal? I will get the others. No! What? He's just a child. Just a child. Jack forgave the child. Just like that. And I forgave him. For that was what he had been when he arrived in Kingsbridge. Just a child. Who was I to judge this man for not confessing earlier what he had done? I had never told his wife, Aliena, that I was responsible for her fate and for her father's. Even that night, when we all met, I did not dare to tell her. <laughs>